Mystery Lovers here, and as you see on the screen today, we are going to get a hamster. Okay, so, um, our hamster is actually currently eight months old right now, but we have some clips of when we were getting our hamster from a breeder. So our hamster is tamed right now, and we didn't post it because we wanted it to be tamed, so we could show you guys it and we could hold it and stuff, and you didn't have to see it in just the cage. Um, in these clips. Um, in the beginning, you will see a cage that is actually really small. Uh, it's just a bin cage for now. Our other cage we are getting is from Amazon, and it hasn't came yet. So, yeah, so we're going to be getting another cage really, really soon. So, yeah, so here's the clips. from our breeders and here's our hamster so this is kind of like our little bin traveling cage thing he's kind of just chilling and so right now we are going to be showing you guys our haul that we got from PetSmart all right here okay, guys so here is our haul and we'll get started right now so the first thing we got is some bins for putting our treats in it's, uh, we know it's a little small, but we are going to get a bigger one soon, but for now, this is. Our second item that we got was a food bin. It's a little small, but it will work for The third thing we got is um, a litter box. We already put the litter in it, um, but this you would get in a little potty, and you'd put this in there for them to do their business. Our fourth item is a toy bin. Um, it is a little small, we know, but it's good. Fifth item is a bin for our bedding. Um, this is Carefresh bedding, and we will. This is confetti, and we are going to list at the top of the screen some good, safe beddings, and at the bottom some bad beddings that you should not get. And we got this. Hair fresh bedding from our breeder. Our next item that we got is peas and carrot snack. It's a treat that we have for our hamster, and we know this is high in sugar, but it is okay because we got our winter white from a breeder, so it is like a pure winter white, you could say. So it's not a hybrid. So. We're going to put this in our treat bin now. This is our sixth item, yummy yogurt drop treats. We got these from PetSmart, and we only give these to our hamsters about once a month because they are not very good for them. So now we're going to put them in our treat bin. Our seventh thing we got from PetSmart was Munchy Snick Snacks. They're kind of like um, carrots and lettuce, stuff like that. And they they look like veggie straws. So now we're going to put that in our treat container. Our eighth thing we got from PetSmart was KT Helping Toppings from Papaya. And these are actually pretty good for your hamsters. So we got those from PetSmart. And yeah, now we're going to put those in our bin. item, our hamster food. It's called Hamster and Gerbil Food. It has a pretty good seed mixture and pellet mixture. And it has 12% protein, it has 4% fat, 10% fiber, and moisture is 12, so it's pretty good um, percentage wise. And just for extra protein, since you're supposed to give your hamster at a young age extra protein than normal, uh, we give it some scrambled eggs in the morning. Um, just a little bit, just to add some extra protein to his diet. So this is what the food looks like. It's pretty balanced out, and I think it's a very good food. So now we're going to put it in our food bin. Our tenth item is these three bowls. 
this is our food bowl and we are looking forward to get a ceramic bowl soon. Um, our next bowl is a bowl for extra protein and we put scrambled eggs in that. And here is our veggie bowl. This is our 11th item. Um, we got this wheel from Critter Trail and this would just attach on the back to a wire cage. And here is a, our 6.5 silent spinner. You can just set that in. This item is a eight inch flying saucer. Some hamsters prefer a flying saucer, some prefer a wheel, and some prefer a bowl. The item is this Critter Trail bath. It's just called a Critter Bath. But basically, you put sand in there, so like chinchilla sand. And you can either get like craft sand, which you can just put in the oven for a little while, but here's some chinchilla sand. We're kind of running low on chinchilla sand, so we'll get some more. Um, do not get any dust or something like that because that is very bad for a hamster because it causes respiratory problems, and that could be very, very bad and end up to be death for your hamster. So I would not suggest dust at all. The eighteenth item is this small little igloo. It's a mini. And this will only work for dwarf hamsters. And if you have a Syrian, you would have to get the next size up. Our 15th item is a hideout slash a toy. And it has little stairs leading up to the top that they can just sit on. And they have little entryways on each side and they can sleep in it and play on it. Um, our 16th item is a bendy bridge or lounging logs. And it is a divider for something that you can like your burring section, the sand Second section. Way is you can bend it to look like a bridge and it can be used as a hideout to sleep in or just like hang out in and a bridge to just like climb over and play on. Um, a third way you can bend it is like this and your hamster can go in here and just kind of hang out in there or you can climb over but there if you have any other ideas to bend it you can just bend it. Our 17th item is our Puzzle Playground Accessory Kit. This is a really fun toy for a hamster. They can go through it and you can make it in very different ways. We have one little simple way right here where it has one hole right here, one hole right here, and then this little climb up bridge thing just fell. And then there is all of these extra pieces which are right here which you can build on more to make stuff more look like this our 18th item. It's just this little treat jar with some variety of some treats in there. We got it from our breeder. So there's three kinds of treats. There's the papaya toppings. There's the, like mini yogurt drops. And there's some things that kind of look like fruit loops. If you do not have enough money to buy other toys such as the puzzle playground or the bendy bridge, then you can always go with these easy tubes such as toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. Um, usually these only fit dwarfs, sometimes very small. Syrians like 100 grams, but if you get a Syrian that's 300 grams, these tubes will be way too skinny. So these are best for dwarfs in our opinion. Our 19th item are these two hamster balls. We have one blue one which is a little bigger than our clear one. So these are our dwarf sized ones, but we also have a Syrian one. Our 20th item, the hamster potty. All you do, take off the lid and add some hamster litter to it, but make sure you don't add too much litter, or it will get all the bedding. I don't usually recommend the hamster potties with bowl holes because I don't really like how hamsters think that it's going to be a toy, but our hamster is okay with it and he thinks, he doesn't think it's a toy, he thinks it's a good area to go pee in, so. It works for him, but it may not work for your hamster. So if it does not work for your hamster, try to get a corner hamster potty. This is our 21st item. It's basically just a water bottle. It's not his official water bottle, because we're not really into the square water bottles. We want a long tube one. It, I think it works better, but for right now, we just have this square one, because that's all we have right now. But we are going to be getting a new water bottle tomorrow the 22nd item. It's basically just his oatmeal that he uses on top of his veggies. So we got this bin just at a market and yeah, it didn't cost very much. So it was a really easy thing to get for our 23rd item. Basically we bought a few sets of chews. So first thing we have are some 
apple sticks, which is what they're called. And they come with quite a few, and he really likes those, as you can kind of tell. They're kind of chewed up. And then we also have some of these blocks, which are just called wood shoes, which I actually have this. that says wood shoes on it. Um, pretty good shoes. It comes with 12. And then he has this one shoe, which is just like a roller shoe, shoe, and it's just where he tries to get that ball out of the center. So he really has fun with that. He's only bitten this area, but... He's not a big chewer, so that's why I don't have too many chews for him, but yeah, those are the chews I bought for him, and okay guys, so we just finished our haul. I know it was a long one, usually we won't have that long of a haul, but going on, make sure you watch our two videos that we'll be uploading in a few hours. One is on meeting our new hamster, you'll be knowing his name and all of his information, and you'll also be figuring out some really big news about some things that are coming up in our channel and make sure to watch our other video which is how to care for dwarf hamsters which is also going to be uploaded in a few hours but we're going to get this little one in his new cage so like comment and subscribe bye guys